Welcome back once again to my YouTube class guys I am Manjit Rao your online instructor so this is another video of VMware virtualization series and in this class you can say that are in this session we will discuss about how to install ESXi 7.0 and uh, we will also try to understand about GUI panel means uh, we will try to access our ESXi with the help of private IP address and discuss about the option which is available in GUI panel. So let's start our concept firstly need to know about the prerequisite or hardware requirement if you plan to install ESXi 7.0 on your base machine or VMware workstation or uh, uh, virtual box or virtual PC so you should know about the minimum hardware requirement so we'll discuss about prerequisite we'll discuss about the proper procedure how to install on your base machine how to install your workstation kind of thing so let's try to understand about the concept and after that we'll move ourselves to our uh, workstation machine and uh, try to understand about the step to install the ESXi so in case of installation, so what you need to do, uh, if you if you are just try to establish your environment only for the practice purpose, means you are not running any kind of organization, you are trying to understand about, means you are just learner. So how you can get the ESXi 7.0. So I, I think I have already informed you in the previous video, but uh, you just need to open a, a Google and uh, just need to type download ESXi 7.0 ISO just need to type download ESXi 7.0 ISO okay so it will be redirect you on VMware page this is the VMware official website over our official website you need to create your own account so by using your Gmail account by using your official mail ID you can just sign up yourself and you can directly download the ISO not only the uh, ESXi software uh, ESXi tool you can download any kind of services any kind of uh, uh, software related to the VMware like as a uh, ESXi vCenter vCenter appliance uh, you want to download a vSAN kind of thing uh, anything anything you can workstation you're planning to download a work latest workstation so you just need to create account by using your gmail account and uh, sign up yourself over a vmware site and uh, uh, with the help of this particular account you can download anything and these application is applicable for 60 days and i think 60 days is enough to use the count of 60 days means if you continue use the software or, the, or esxi continuous so then it counts the 60 days if you just stop and start again so it will be count from the day of your starting so it's really simple to download the ESXi 7.0 and let's talk about the prerequisite if you want to install on your base machine for example uh, you have a one uh, desktop maybe a desktop or laptop it may be desktop or laptop anything and you don't have any operating system you can say that this is the blank operating system blank uh, system means that cannot contain any kind of operating system so what you need to do step first download ESXi okay download ESXi ISO image basically of 7.0 second make bootable pen drive you know about how we can make a bootable pen drive so with the help of third party tool you can just create a bootable pen drive just need to copy the entire iso image iso files which is available and explore the iso file and download uh, copy the entire file which is available in iso and paste it into the pen drive and it will become automatically become a bootable pen drive next step third uh, connect pen drive to your system i'm talking about the base machine third step you need to restart the system and open BIOS you need to open BIOS setting fourth step select boot device so while selecting the boot device you must need to prefer pan drive okay and boot form pan drive Correct. So this is the step. These all are the steps that you need to use to install your ESXi host in our base machine. Second, this is information. This information is basically for base system. Means you want to install directly to the uh, hardware. If you are using a VMware workstation, if you install a workstation or a virtual box or virtual PC. 
So what you need to do, you know very well about. You need to create a virtual machine. I'll, I'll show you the step how you can install the ESXi 7.0 workstation. But you should know about the hardware requirement. Another important thing is uh, you should know about the hardware requirement. So in hardware requirement, you must need to use minimum 4 GB of RAM. Okay. This is the prerequisite you can say that our hardware minimum two core of CPU and if you talk about hard disk so you need to provide minimum 60 gig of hard drive. LAN card should be connected must uh, NICR LAN card must be activated and so these all are the hardware requirement that you do need to confirm before installation of ESXi 7.0 and another important part if you are using workstation so you must need to use a uh, minimum workstation 14 15 or 16 if you are using a uh, workstation 10 or 11 or uh, 8 so it may be create a problem of in while installation so guys this is the uh, prerequisite that you need to know before you install the esxi 7.0 so i'm going to uh, show you the step how you can install esxi 7.0 on workstation so guys this is my windows operating system that i installed uh, uh, Windows 10 operating system basic, basically is a Windows operating system and over a Windows I have already installed VMware Workstation 16 and uh, by using this workstation by using this hypervisor type 2 uh, virtualization types of tool uh, we will uh, install our ESXi host right so I have already created a multiple virtual machine like a Windows uh, 2016 and uh, 10 I'm going to create one more right click just click on the file next really simple step that you need to use and you need to provide the location of your ESXi image so I have already downloaded ESXi 7.0 which is available in download folder so just need to select it open next provide the name of your ESXi so I want to create it with name of ESXi 7.0 and you need to provide the path of your virtual machine so I want to put the entire file in E drive ESXi 7 okay select no need to do anything next I'm going to install it with 60 gig of uh, hard drive I, we know that this is the virtual environment so I'm going to select the 60 gig of hard drive and about the hard disk uh, we already selected the hard disk RAM minimum 4 GB CPU code minimum 2 I'm going to make it bridge connection because you know that we are using workstation so you must need to use the bridge connection that your Wi-Fi router can directly provide the IP address to your ESXi environment I'm going to increase a bit uh, means just need, uh, try to uh, increase the RAM size of our ESXi so just click close and finish very basic step that you need to use to install the ESXi uh, over a workstation turn on your ESXi turn on your virtual machine and follow the instruction it's really simple step that you need to use if we compare our ESXi 6.5 or 7.7 or 7.0, so between 6.5 and 7.0, in case of 7.0, um, it gives you much uh, services like as a related to the automation services, and we can also manage our services with the help of um, ESXi services with the help of PowerShell and uh, uh, with the help of scripting and CLI panel as well. So we'll, we'll discuss each and everything according to the content that we discuss in our first class. So, uh, very simple step that you need to use to install the ESXi. So, I'm just going to follow the proper step. It's a very uh, basic, this is the first step. It will be try to boot, um, uh, means our virtual machine try, trying to boot from our ISO image, uh, ISO image of ESXi 7.0. So, we just need to wait and uh, follow the step. So, uh, now we are on second page. You can say that second step of our uh, ESXi installation procedure. It gives you the information about the uh, ESXi version and about the RAM, CPU size. So 7.0.2, this is the version of our ESXi. And um, we are using a VMware workstation. So that's why we are able to get the option related to the VMware 7.1. And uh, two core of CPU, Intel Core CPU, which is available in our base machine. 7.5 GB of RAM we provided to our virtual machine, especially for uh, our ESXi. 
and by using this particular 7.5 gig of RAM, we will create another virtual machine under the ESXi because you know that we are using both types of uh, virtualization. We are basically uh, uh, on, we are using uh, hypervisor type 1 and hypervisor type 2 both. Workstation is example of hypervisor type 2, ESXi is example of hypervisor type 1 as we discussed. Okay, so uh, press enter to continue and press F11 to accept the entire uh, license agreement. So I'm going to press F11 and second I think it will give you option to configure a password because you know that you must need to uh, uh, configure your own password to access your ESXi with the help of GUI. So uh, we are using 60 gig of hard drive just click enter again enter provide the complex password the important thing is uh, you must need to use the complex password means including the uh, uh, alphabet numeric and special character so I'm going to use my common password and it will become a root account password because you know that this is the root password enter finally you can uh, press enter again F11 now it will take time so because the installation process is started once our installation is completed we will access uh, our ESXi with the help of GUI panel means with the help of web client so as per the capacity as per the configuration of your uh, backend machine backend in machine in the sense uh, <coughs> if you are using workstation if you are using your on-premises machine so depend upon the configuration depend upon the RAM and CPU that you, you are that you use to install your ESXi it will take time up to three to four minute time max to max <coughs> sorry fifty four uh, percent completed so we just need to wait up to two to three minute more now installation completed you just need to enter press enter to reboot your ESXi host we successfully installed the ESXi 7.0 and we just need to restart it and we will get our dynamic IP address. So this is each and everything like as a how, to you can, how you can configure a static IP address, how you can get a dynamic IP address. We will discuss each and everything. So now we are using VMware Workstation and we configured I think uh, a bridge connection. So our Wi-Fi router is responsible to provide the IP address means automatically uh, Wi-Fi router will assign the one private IP address to our ESXi host. So by using the uh, private IP address we will try to access from anywhere means within the organization within the network you can say that. This is you can say that this is the booting process uh, of ESXi host that can check each and everything like as uh, it will check the NVRAM, it will check the NIC card, it will check uh, each and everything means in booting process it will follow the entire step means it can follow the means post and all the thing okay so once our ESXi is ready to use we will access the GUI panel and as we know that we are on page of 7.0 so we have only one option to access our ESXi with the help of web client means with the help of a browser or URL fine so we successfully installed it and we are able to find one IP address 192.168.1.9 this is the IP dynamic IP address basically which is provided by our Wi-Fi router so by using this particular IP address we will access the GUI panel how we can uh, do that just need to open any browser like I'm going to open uh, Google Chrome type the private IP address 192.168.1.9 press enter as we know that we haven't installed any kind of SSL certificate so that's why you need to access with the help of HTTP protocol only click advance proceed with unsaved so we will discuss about how to install the uh, SSL certificate as well but right now we are planning to understand about the basic understanding of ESXi 7.0 GUI panel provide the username and password so by default username is root as we know that and about the password that you configured while installation see this is the page this is the panel where we need to discuss each and everything so 
uh, as we know that it's a pretty much similar like as a 7.0, 6.0, 6.5 6.0, 6 and 6.7 but if we talk about internal activity so we will get a n number of feature in compare of uh, our 6.5 and 6.7 so very basic information if you click on the host it give you the complete information about your hardware like as the CPU usage and uh, the total capacity of your CPU about the memory means RAM usage and CPU uh, available size means total capacity is uh, 7.7 Four six GB and uh, it just consumed one point three one GB of RAM of entire um, um, uh, RAM capacity. Six point one six GB is free, still available storage. We haven't used any storage because whenever we create our virtual machine, it will be consumed the storage part. So it's free. So uh, in host, we are able to find a number of options which is available, like as information about your ESXi, about your kernel port, about your gateway, about uh, your DSCP, means every information you will be find in case of host. We haven't created any virtual machine, so that's why we are unable to find any virtual machine, click storage. So it gives you the internal storage, it will provide the information about the internal storage. but we will create we will create because we just uh, we used uh, 60 gig of space the 60 gig you space is basically used for uh, used to install the esxi we will add we will create another storage local storage and uh, we will use the shared storage and connect in this particular panel about the networking uh, by default in case of ESXi we will get a standard switch means uh, about the db switch whenever we install es uh, whenever we install a we sent a server, it gives you option to configure the distributed switch as well. So this is our agenda, our motto to understand everything which is available in this particular panel. We will try to discuss every option which is uh, available in ESXi 7.0. So guys, this is the basic information. This uh, it, It's a just an installation procedure. We will connect in next session and discuss about how we can manage the virtual machine activity. Okay everyone, so we'll connect tomorrow and We'll discuss more about the ESXi and how we can handle the virtual machine with ESXi. Take care guys. Bye-bye.